Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I don't know what that song was. So this video is really, really long overdue. I have a box next to me of makeup I have accumulated over the last like maybe month or two. Uh, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but I promise it is. Um, so it's some stuff I bought from Ulta, stuff I bought from Sephora. It's like a random plethora of things. So I thought we could just do like a collective makeup haul, do some swatches, just hang out for a bit and uh, play with makeup. I look at this and I'm like, oh my God, I bought that so long ago, yikes. I don't know why, I just haven't made this video. Like I've been waiting to make this video. I haven't used any of the makeup. I've been just patiently waiting for my myself. Okay, so uh, let's just hop right into it. So I'm just gonna grab random things. So I finally picked this up. If you haven't been subscribed to me before or you don't know, I do weekly vlogs. So every Sunday I post a vlog of my week um, and they're a lot of fun, they're really long. It's kind of like, a bad reality TV show. But I have seen this guy everywhere. It's the Glam Glow Glitter Mask, the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I have seen this everywhere. I've seen everyone trying it and I was so jealous. I just wanted all those little stars on my face and it's a peel off mask. So I really wanna play around with this. Uh, you guys have probably, I'm not gonna open it. Like there's no point. You guys have probably seen it. It's um, a glittery like star mask and it has like these little <sighs> confettis in it. I don't know, I'm just really excited to try it. Um, and then I got another mask from Ofra, and I actually have tried this once. This is maybe one of the few things that I dipped into before I filmed this. So it's the Ofra uh, <laughs> Peptide Brightening Mask. It looks like this, and I bought this because it was recommended from Nikki Tutorials online, um, and she loves it. So it gives a dramatic new peptide skincare brightening whatever system all I know is I used it once and I genuinely noticed when I took it off I looked a lot brighter so as I'm fading acne scars I'm definitely going to continue to use this it really does work even after just that one time I was like wow and I will link below everything for you guys um so we have the elf charcoal hydro gel under eye masks I am going to be going on Accutane really soon. <laughs> there's a lot, if you don't know me, there's a lot under here that I am really looking forward to working on. Um, so I heard that you can get really dehydrated and your under eyes can get really like sunken and <sighs> dry and dark. So these will be really good. I'm just going to use everything hydrating in the world when I start next month. I was really excited. I picked up another one of these, which is kind of funny because I won't need it too much longer, um, but I give it to friends or something. This is the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. It looks like this. I talk about this all the time, all the time. If you follow me on social media, you're like, Alex, we know you love it. So this is pretty much the only moisturizer I have ever found that genuinely mattifies your skin. I, right now, am so, so oily. Like after I wash my face, 30 minutes later, if I don't put anything on my face, it will feel very oily. So the second I put this on, it absorbs right into the skin and it mattifies me for the whole day. Like this, <laughs> it's the best moisturizer if you're oily. Like, please try it. Like. I've never had a moisturizer actually mattify me before. They usually leave me feeling like greasy, no matter, even if they're mattifying, that one is no joke. I love it. I think that might be all for skincare that I've purchased, but I'm not sure. Um, so I grabbed a new makeup setting spray. I haven't bought a new one in a while. I've been sent a few that I actually really do like, but I haven't bought one. So I had purchased this like a while back. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Environmental Defense Makeup Setting Spray. So it's time release temperature control technology, oil free, paraben free. I don't know, I'm intrigued by it. Like environmental protection, pollution protection. That just sounds like really great. So it looks like this. I don't know how well it will work because I've never tried it before. Mm, I don't know why it feels so good. Spray your face. But yeah, I don't know how well it's going to work yet, but if you watch the weekly vlogs, I'll probably chat about it. Um, they go up every Sunday, as I mentioned. Okay, so I'm just going to go random from here on. I picked up a new Real Techniques brush. I really love their brushes, and I needed a new liquid foundation brush. 
So this one is their Expert Face Brush. It's their number one best-selling brush. So it looks like this. I really love Real Techniques brushes. This is nice and dense. You can just tell it's gonna stipple on that foundation really nicely, buff it in. Um, so I really needed that. My current foundation brush is like a bit, that's not it, is a bit beat up. Um, the Fenty one <laughs> and the e.l.f. one. I like these for liquid foundation, but they're getting to the end. So I saw this um, on, I think, Ulta. It's the Revolution uh, Makeup Revolution London. So this is a brand that I haven't really tried before, but I feel like I've heard of them and I've heard people talk about them. So they have a luxury baking powder in the shade Lace. I don't know why everything looks really bright, but this is going to be great for baking under my eyes. Um, it says the natural heat from your body will cook the powder. You guys know I'm an air spun fan, but I do like to try new ones here and there. Uh, let's see here. Then we have, oh, these lashes I got. These just looked so pretty. They're the Ilor uh, collab with Jasmine Brown. Aren't they just the prettiest lashes? I really love that like wispy fanned out look. I just love how these look. So I can't wait to wear those. I never really splurge on lashes. I kind of like to buy like, I'm not wearing lashes today, like the one day I don't wear lashes, but I usually buy like um, a value back. But those were kind of pricey, but they're just really, really pretty. Um, let's see. So we have a pro airbrush blender brush from Sephora. And I got this for setting my face with powder. I don't know why I just there's a couple new brushes that I felt like I needed I think I have one more eye brush in there I wanted one to set my face with so oh this is a fun little case how does this work oh oh uh yeah this is um kind of a dense face brush like I said this is the um pro airbrush blender number 78 but I think it'll be great for really pressing that powder into the skin locking it down but I just kind of like it it's nice and chubby then I grabbed oh I think this was a free gift I'm not sure it's the glam glow hello sexy uh super mud and glow starter treatments in here so I love super mud it's great for acne oil prone skin if you have acne or your oily or big pores or clogged pores I love it and then the illuminating moisturizer so one for before and one for after Accutane oh I wanted a new highlighter so I got the Becca light chaser highlighter for face and eye in champagne dream flashes Bellini that's a long name I don't know I just love Becca's highlighters so I was dying to try this one it's just really really pretty Ooh. It's got like a really pretty gold hue. It's really natural and gorgeous and I just love Becca's highlighters. I picked up another one of my favorite eyebrow pencils, the MAC Lingering, I think. Yes, Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. Love their eyebrow pencils. I just love how like thin they are, but they're kind of like firm, not too creamy, but not too firm. I don't know. I just love it. Um, I needed a new chapstick for beside my bed. I always keep chapstick beside my bed. So I got the um, Jack Black Intense Lip Balm Therapy Natural Mint Flavor. I just love a good chapstick and this has really good reviews on sephora oh i tried out the nyx powder puff lippies and i really really like them so i got this shade called best buds i i can't remember the other shade that i tried i put it on my insta stories but i actually really like this this formula is like a love or hate situation so um it's like a little powder puff thing as you can see here i'll show you and if you have your lips primed beforehand, I think you'll really like it. I mean, if you put it on like dry lips that are like actually dry, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> Cause like nobody wants to just stick some powder on their dry lips. But I had like exfoliated and primed my lips before I put it on and I really liked how it felt. It felt kind of like creamy. So it looks like this. And it comes out like a little powder puff. Kind of similar to what I'm wearing. A tiny bit lighter kind of pretty together anyway I really like the formula uh, kind of feels like a comfortable matte oh my lips look very contoured now anyway love the formula on those and they're very affordable oh then I have the photo finish primer water from Smashbox I bought this because I've seen a lot of people use it and love it and I was just really intrigued with like a primer spray rather than a primer 
lotion like usual so I don't know I'm intrigued by this I've never tried it I'll let you guys know of course um, sometimes after these I do like a full face of first impressions and just kind of do my whole face with these so if you want me to do that let me know in the comments this is a new the other new brush that I got so this is from Lancome it's the blending shadow brush so I wanted a new brush for my crease because I don't like the one I have now the one I have now is from Sigma and it came in a set it's just not fluffy enough I like to have a really fluffy one for the crease so I hope this is fluffy enough Ooh, yes this one I, you can already tell like how it looks so it's like a nice tapered fluffy blending brush you can just get right up in there oh I just love how that feels <laughs> So this is a really good one. Like I said, the Blending Shadow Brush number 17 from Lancome. I can tell it's going to be exactly how I like. Kind of like the MAC 220, 217. Oh, I finally got the Patrick Star. This is, I know, this is a lot. It's been accumulating. Um, it's the Patrick Star Lipstick. I have been wanting to try it. I thought the color looked so pretty and I love this like sparkly packaging. Um, this is the shade called She Better Work. Ooh, look at the packaging. I have his setting powder and I love it, but this is like really pretty. Ooh. <laughs> What's a third lipstick? <laughs> Ooh, I like it. It's like a really pretty baby pink. I'm just like adding lighter and lighter in the middle, making my lips look faker and faker um and then i also grabbed another one of these i love 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 this primer it's the origins original skin pore perfecting cooling primer with willow herb so it's got that same kind of formula as the moisturizer that i love so much um but i'll show you the one i have now i got another one i use it literally every day it's like a hot mess but you shake it and it comes out as a really cold foam like it's like almost painfully cold in the winter but I loved it when I was in Florida it was like really really cooling and refreshing but putting it under your eyes really helps to de-puff as well so I would highly recommend this primer and I feel like it can go great if you're dry or oily then I grabbed um this is the last thing before I go into what I got from KKW Beauty I grabbed this, this is the YSL matte stain for your lips in the color rose illicit in number 11 so this is what this looks like i think this was on like the featured page or something and i was just really intrigued by it so let's see how the color looks i won't, I won't put it on um but the color is so pretty so it's a matte stain and it's kind of lighter than what i'm wearing now maybe actually darker but i just think it's really pretty i was on like a pink kick for some reason like look at all the nude and pink that i got i don't know but i really like how this color looks and i'm excited to see how the formula is um, I've never bought like a luxury lipstick before that's like my first time so I'm curious to see if it's really any better or just you know a bunch of hoopla. hoopla so I picked up a couple of things from KKW Beauty I also had bought her Valentine's Day perfume and I actually really like the scent and I think it's so pretty I finally got the cream contour and highlight kit and I got it in the shade light I didn't know if I should get medium or light in the winter time I'm really pale I have a little bit of a tan right now because I just got back from vacation but I ended up getting the shade light I just have been dying to try this I know I'm like late on the bandwagon and pretty much everyone has already reviewed it but I am just really really curious so this is the brush that it comes with that we've all seen it has the little um, brush end and the sponge end. the sponge end actually feels pretty good I thought it would feel a lot harder and then we have the contour and highlight sticks so here is the contour stick it actually looks like a good shade uh oh am I doing this wrong uh oh we might have a, a broken one here am I doing this wrong oh you have to twist it from the top who does that no offense Kimmy I would have never guessed that I had to twist from this piece up here not the bottom okay anyway so <laughs> that was stressing me out for a second so it's really light um, it's definitely a light shade but the contour looks really good um, because I am really 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 fair in the winter time so here's what the colors look like I think it'll actually be pretty good any darker it might not look as natural so I'm excited to play with this and kind of see I've watched quite a few reviews on it um, and I feel like it was pretty well received so anyway we're gonna try that out at some point see how it is and I just got one other thing from KKW Beauty and this is the oh the cream liquid lipsticks more nudie pink lipsticks because 
I really needed it. Oh my god. So I just think these look really beautiful. Um, they're definitely in my color range. Like I am a very nude pink wearing lip person. So I know that these will get used. I don't feel like so bad because they are um, like achievable colors for me. So let's go ahead and swatch these. So the first one here is called Kimberly. And it looks to be like a really pale nude. As you can see, it's like almost flesh colored, um, more nude than pink. Then this next one is called Kim. I think it's just all of her nicknames. Remember these came out a while ago? I'm like really late. Are you still watching? If you're still watching, comment Kardashian. And here is the next shade. It's a little bit more of a peachy color, peachy nude. All the colors I love. This one is called Kiki. This one is definitely like a true peachy pink. This one here, more pink than peach. And lastly, we have Kimmy, which is a darker version of that. I would say these are all pretty peachy nudes. Like, here's a better view. But they're really pretty, and they're definitely colors I'll be wearing. So that's my random makeup collective haul, whatever people call it. Um, it's a lot and it's random, but I'll definitely do a full face of first impressions if you let me know in the comments that that's what you'd like to see. I think I would like to do that and kind of just review everything at once because it's a lot of new product that I would like to review for you guys and let you know how I feel. Um, so again, let me know if you'd like to see that down below in the comments. I hope you just enjoyed hanging out with me today. Um, and I hope you're having a great 2018 so far. And yeah, let me know what else you'd like to see coming up in the future. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Join the Fearless family. And I love you guys so much. See you soon. Bye.